Shalom, all praises to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shah, Bashem, Yahweh, Karkadash, the owners and to the apostles and elders and great most on the world. Well. And Shalom to the whole full lap. This is Paya Allah. The title of this video will be determined upon upload. Um, what I want to delve into is dealing with a poor man, or more so, which we are, <laughs> but dealing with the poor of this world. All right. Um, Yahweh Shah spoke to the poor in the book of Matthew, the fifth chapter. Uh, to the tune of. Yeah, it says uh, Matthew 5 and 3 Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. <laughs> Which is of great relevance, which, you know, we're delving in, we, I, Lord willing, we'll delve into this throughout the course of the lesson, because um, in this world we have nothing. We we made a sacrifice, and um, in that sacrifice, we basically, um, you no, know, left, the, left, left the world, but, you know, left the world behind and uh, you know started putting in our investments up in to the kingdom all right to be furnished in a time to come but um with that being the case you know it comes in different some brothers you know rank differently pertaining to their spirit and the lot that the heavenly father has bestowed upon them but we're basically you know we're here man you know poor and really just looking toward the kingdom. All right. So I just got a few precepts just to build upon the idea of being poor and just to show you how only works out in our favor as to a great blessing. So I'm gonna start with this Sirach 10 and 30, 31. The poor man is honored for his skill and the rich man is honored for his riches. It says that the poor man is honored for his skill so us being poor, what makes us rich only or of a form of worth is our skill. All right, our skills pay the bills, as they say. So that being the first thing is, you know, being blessed with the gift of faith. All right, that's a skill within itself because it requires a certain um, mindset which is a great skill within itself whenever you uh, approach certain scenarios to kind of size everything up through the measure of faith and see it as, well, this is, you know, X, Y, Z and this is how it's going to go because it's the will of the Lord. And if it goes to in an unfavorable manner, it's the will of the Heavenly Father. Something else, you know, is a very, you know, um, you know, hands off kind of approach based upon faith but it's all rooted in the skill of understanding the scriptures having the, as I was mentioning the gift of faith but then you know manifesting it through um, through study showing ourself approved <laughs> so it says and the rich man is honoured for his riches so if you're wealthy you're regarded highly because why you have wealth alright so it says he that is honored in poverty how much more in riches so if you're a skilled man but you're poor and you have honor in it how much honor would you have if you were bestowed riches you know a great amount and he that is dishonorable in riches how much more in poverty right so if you're dishonorable why you have why you have your wealth because as you said the rich man is honored for his riches it's just you're being honored because you have money all right but the world that we're in having money requires some kind of treachery nine times out of ten and that's that's reflected when it says you know rarely should it be that a rich man should come into the faith you know be easier for camel to go through it I have a needle because 
riches is, is tied into a certain kind of belief system, mindset and whatnot. Not to say that it can't happen, all right? But just it's a very, that, that, that individual that has that is a very, you know, is 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 a very special individual. All right, so I want to build upon that with the poor man and the skill, and showing you how 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 great that skill is with this with this um example. So it's the book of Ecclesiastes nine and thirteen. All right, so it reads, "This wisdom have I also seen." have I seen also under the sun and it seemed great unto me there was a little city and few men within it there came a great king against it so not no ordinary king but a great king alright now a king you know guides his kingdom you know the resting of a crown upon a king's head you know signifies the great you know um, leadership the hierarchy the head, the figurehead, should I say, of that individual over the people, right, and guiding them. So, not to just be a king, but to be a great king is, you know, is, is something within itself. So it says, and besieged it and built great bulwarks against it. Now there was found in it a poor, wise man, and he, by his wisdom, delivered the city, yet no man remembered that same poor man. So this great king... You know, his army and his bulwarks and the besieging of the sea was defeated by this poor wise man, all right? Through his wisdom, he was able to, you know, deliver the city out of the clutches of, of the king. And it really shows you, like, how, you know, because the king would have had an abundance of riches, but it shows you when you when you put the two up against each other, you know, the skill of a, a poor man, for his honour and the riches of a rich man being this great king, you know, for his honour, it shows you that the poor man comes out on top. Verse 16, Then said I, Wisdom is better than strength. Nevertheless, the poor man's wisdom is despised and his words are not heard. Right? And that's really where it is because right now you've got the apostles, all the apostles, the, the elder elder bishops all right the various elders everyone that falls rank and file you know the, the vibration is going out but it's not going out in a fashion where everyone's you know you're having the, the un and the, the chief leaders over this kingdom bow down and, and come before the apostles and say like please guide us and direct us tell us what we are to do they're not doing that they're not gonna do that until the kingdom come because this is it, as I said, as I read it. Yeah, it says, Then said I, wisdom is better than strength. Nevertheless, the poor man's wisdom is despised. Right, we're in a time where the words we speak, even though they hold a lot of wisdom, they are despised, and his words are not heard. The words of wise men are heard in quiet more than the cry of him that ruled from among fools. Right, so that was, that's how you see. Because... You know, the wise man's words are heard in, in quiet, sorry. But the cry of him that ruleth among fools, you know, everyone hears him. But then really, when you measure the two up against each other, the wise is, is what really, you know, reigns true at the end of it all. Wisdom is better than weapons of war, but one sinner destroyeth much good. So I want to wrap it, nip it all in the bud by closing out with this scripture here. Book of James two points in four and five, but I'll start from one. My brethren, have not the faith of our Lord Yahweh Mashiach, the Lord of glory, with respects of respect of persons. For if there come unto your assembly a man with a gold ring and goodly apparel, and there come in also a poor man in vile raiment, and ye have respect of him that weareth the gay clothing, and say unto him, Sit thou here, 
in a good place and say unto the poor, Stand thou here, there, or stay, or sit here under my footstool. Are ye not then partial in yourselves and are become judges of evil thoughts? Right, so basically we're not meant to do things like that, whereby it's like we look at someone and say, oh, he's got money. So let's put him, you know, in a in a trash place. We're meant to really like analyze the scenario and say, all right, this is where you, you know, it's this is, you know, a wise choice. All right. So this, I read verse four again, point five. Are ye not the, are ye not then partial in yourselves and have become judges of evil folks? Hearken, my beloved brethren, hath not the Most High chosen the poor of this world, rich in faith, and heirs of the kingdom, which he hath promised to them that love him? Right, so that's what it's all about at the end of the day. The Heavenly Father has chosen the poor of this world, that are rich in faith, to only enter into the kingdom. And that's what it's all about, man. That's why ultimately, you know, that's the the skill of the poor is honoured, you know, it's honourable, as opposed to the riches of the rich is their honour, really, and and this this honour that we have and it's truth, us being the true poor that that's being spoke of, that's what is ultimately gonna have us great riches and abundance in the end of it when everything's said and done. So with that, I pray you're edified to the next one. Say shalom, shalom.